So remember, on the ACT science section, the pacing is intense. You've got 35 minutes for 40 questions and seven passages. That's crazy. But hopefully you watch the other episode and you feel really good about the great strategies we talked about. You know, you don't even have to read most of the passages to get the questions. And that saves a lot of time that you can then shift over to the questions and you'll have plenty of time to look at those questions, look at the tables and charts, and now those questions. So hopefully you feel great, but what if you're still feeling a little iffy about timing? That's what this episode is for. In this episode, we're gonna go over some really sneaky science pacing strategies. So let's get started. Pacing strategies, how to tackle the science section if you're still feeling really iffy about the timing. First sneaky strategy, do your preferred passage type first, meaning don't read the passages in the order that they appear on the science section. This is where taking a practice test is really helpful. You take enough practice tests, you'll get a sense of which passage type you feel more comfortable with. Remember, you've got the research summary, the data representation, and the conflicting viewpoints. Three of the research, three of the data rep, and one conflicting viewpoint. And if you look over your practice test, you'll see there's usually a passage that you feel really, really good about, a passage type. Maybe you're a real data rep person. You just feel good about it. You look at that big table, that big chart, you know how to nail those questions. So you know what? Do those first. When we had our other episodes about the passage types, we talked about how easy it is to identify which type is which. You know, you see a big table and chart, that's data rep. You see experiment one, experiment two, experiment three, that's research summary. And conflicting viewpoints, you've got your two fighting scientists. Easy. So right away, you can flip through and do the ones that you're best at first. So again, if you're that data rep person, flip through, first do all three data reps in order. Remember, science is coming at the end, so you're feeling kind of cranky, pretty miserable, and you wanna make sure that the ones that you do first are the ones that you're already good at, so you have a better chance of nailing those questions. If you're gonna run out of time on the science section, and most people do, run out of time on a passage that's not your favorite, you know, and one that you don't feel great about anyway. So that's the first great pacing strategy for science. Next, let's talk about attacking the conflicting viewpoint passage first. This is a completely separate strategy. This strategy is for people who tell me, huh, Devorah, you told me just before, tackle your preferred passage first. What if I don't have a preferred passage? What if I feel pretty good about all three types? Or sadly, what if I don't feel great about any of them? What do I do? Okay, no problem. In this case, you're gonna wanna tackle the conflicting viewpoints passage first. Here's why. Hopefully you remember the conflicting viewpoints passage has seven questions attached, and the research summary has six, while the data rep only has five. So spend that time when you feel good right at the beginning on that conflicting viewpoint passage. If you feel really good about it, you'll feel great about the questions, and then you've got seven out of the 40 science questions already answered just from one passage. Then, if you still have no preference between the research summary and the data rep, head for the research summary. Again, six questions on each of those passages. So flip around, you wanna get those, and then do the data rep last. So again, if you run out of time, you'll run out of time on a data rep passage that only has five questions attached. Okay, so we talked about doing your preferred passage first, and then we talked about just starting with